So we are going to be learning how to put a playing card through solid glass. Yo, what's up guys, and today we're going to be learning a pretty cool trick. It's just a variation of a couple moves together that I combined to make this little effect. It's been done quite a few times, and I'm sure you guys have seen this effect before, or at least similar variations of it, but I don't know if uh, this one with these uh, slights and moves that I put together um, has ever been done, so I figured I'd teach it to you guys. If it has, let me know by who, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, all we're gonna need for this is a deck of cards, and I'll be using the Product Red playing cards by Theory11, pretty sick deck. I've used it before on the channel, and I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy these. Love these cards. All right, so what you're gonna need is just one card. Kidding, you're gonna need two. That's right, I know. I lied, it's not one card through glass. You're using two cards, and it doesn't actually go through the glass. Shocker. All right, so there are two moves that you just need to know how to do in order to do this effect. You need to know how to make a card appear like that. And I'll put a link in the description. I believe Chris Ramsey teaches this, but I'll also go over it briefly. And you also need to know how to vanish your card using the back palm. Now, I have taught this before on the channel. So again, link in the description, but I will also go over that move as well for you guys. All right, so let's get into the appearance first and then we'll go into the vanish and then putting them together and making it look like you're putting a card through glass. All right, so you're gonna wanna get the card in palm, classic card palm like so, all right? And then in order to make it appear, you're gonna want to hold it like this and then with your pinky, bevel the corner. And you're also using this fleshy part of your thumb to make it pop out like this. Now it's a bit knacky. You're gonna just have to have some trial and error with it. But once you get it, you'll do that every time you get into palm. And um, yeah, it'll be super easy. So get it like so, right? And then you're gonna wanna take this corner here, which will be the top right with your index. And this will all be done in a motion so that you can't see the card before it appears. And so once you grab it here with your index, you wanna grab the top right corner as well with your thumb. And so now you're in this weird thing, which like you won't even see this, it'll be going so fast. And you just let go of everything besides your index and thumb and let it flick off the fleshy part, as we said before, and it'll appear. So in motion, it looks like that, right? So you're just doing this. really quickly and if you don't get it if you get it like that it also helps to pop your wrist up just in case but sometimes the card will flick out and rotate which looks really nice if you're doing it on a table or surface or something just like that it'll look really good so that is the appearance Again, there'll be a link in the description to where Chris Ramsey teaches it. I don't know who that's by originally. I don't think it's by him. If it is, you guys can correct me on that in the comments. All right, so the back palm, super classic move. Love this move so much. Probably one of my favorite, actually. And I did teach this, as I said. And yeah, you guys can watch that video if you want. But for you guys that don't want to and just want to learn this, I'll go over it briefly. So hold the card horizontally in your dominant hand like so, and then your, your index and your pinky are gonna be the main um, fingers doing the move. So you wanna grab it, and then once it's grabbed here, you wanna curl these two fingers in, the middle and the ring, right, around it. So it's like you're doing this, except your thumb is here holding the card. So you can just hold it like that to start off if you want. And then your index and your pinky are still free. And they're gonna grab the sides and also curl in so that all your fingers are curled in. And you can take your thumb off and grab it. And once you uncurl them, the card is gone. And that is the back palm. So how do we combine these moves to make it look like you're pushing one card through a solid glass window or door or table? Table can work too. So you want to hold one of the cards in a in the appearance position right here 
If you're making the card uh, push through the glass face up or face down, that does matter. So say I'm just going to push it through the glass like this. I'm gonna want the card to be face down in my palm, in the palm position, right? Because when I push it through, it, it can't look like, it can't look like I'm doing this because that looks weird. So you need to make sure you've got that uh, design in the right spot. You can also get a duplicate card, do the same thing. Might be a little confusing, but trust me, that's what you want to do, right? So you want to take the card and then just go towards the glass door. I'm going to assume this is a door because that's how I taught it. You're going to tap it on the back, right? The door would be here. So the card would be on the other side of it. And as I go to tap it, I'm going to vanish it using the back palm and then make it appear like that. If you do it quickly, it will look like you're pushing the card through glass. There's another way you could do it. First off, it's this again, right? There's another way you could do it. It's much easier. You don't have to learn the appearance, right? You just put the card in um, palm and then you go to slap the window and you vanish it, the card, right? And then you just wipe away. It's kind of like it just melted through the glass and you don't need to make it appear, right? And with these two moves, you can actually make it look like you're making a card teleport, right? So you can use these two moves together to do multiple things, you know, penetrations, teleportations, stuff like that. Appearances, vanishes, obviously what they are. So that is using the back palm and the palm appearance is what I'm gonna call it because I don't know the proper name. Correct me, please. And yeah, that's how you push a card through glass. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like and comment below. And if you're new here and you wanna learn more magic tutorials and cardistry tutorials and deck reviews, you wanna see all that fun stuff, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified of my weekly videos. I'm trying to do a, a little bit more original magic where I'm just kind of taking moves that everybody has learned and there's a lot of tutorials for and uh, putting them together to make new tricks. So I think this was a good start off for that. And if you guys did enjoy it and want to see more, let me know in the comments. And as you can see, new setup. I'm going to be refining it slowly with little things. But yeah, pineapple is here to stay. The cards are here to stay. These, I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to get one or two more of these just to cover that up because I don't want to see this brick. But yeah, I don't mind that for now. We got some bikes and monarchs and fontaines and anyone's and art of play decks. It's a lot of fun stuff here. So I hope you guys just enjoy the visual of that because I think it looks pretty, pretty good. Also, if you guys didn't see my video, the demo for my uh, cardistry move called Crossing, I'll put a link to that in the description. I just posted that Sunday. Sunday? Sunday, I think Sunday. And yeah, the tutorial is coming. That will be a week from today, next Friday. A week from when you're watching this. It's Thursday for me. And yeah, that's the video, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one. See ya.